Welcome back to another episode of How I Edit and it's hot. It's hot. So if you've been following along with my videos, you will notice that I've been using Portrait Pro for quite some time. But then again, I stumbled across uh, another little plugin called the Beautify Panel. Uh, Portrait Pro, even though it's a great piece of software, it does have its limitations, um, particularly in the area of adding skin texture after all of the softening and all that other stuff. So um, I purchased the Beautify Panel and I'm gonna do an experiment combining both plugins. So let's get started. So this is the image that I'm gonna be using and you can download this image using the link in the description below as well as one or two of the actions I'm gonna be using. Also, if you wanna purchase or download a trial version of Portrait Pro or the Beautify Panel 2. I'll leave a link in the description also. So let's get started. This should be another quick and easy edit. So to get started, I'm gonna duplicate my layer. I'm gonna zoom in to do a quick evaluation to determine the problematic areas. And I'm gonna grab my healing brush. I'm just gonna remove a few pimples and get started. What is this? I'm also going to remove this line. Okay, so now that we are done moving those um, small blemishes and imperfections, I'm going to head over to my filter and I'm going to select Anthropix. Portrait Pro, I'm gonna give that a few seconds to load. Okay, so now that Portrait Pro has loaded, I'm gonna delete the face outline that it selects automatically. And I'm gonna start from scratch. But here's a little something about this image before I get started. All right, um, I shot this with my Canon 80D using the 85 millimeter 1.8. My shutter speed was set at one 1,000th of a second. My ISO was set at 100. I used the Godox 8600BM with a 42 inch Salens Octobox as my modifier and it was positioned uh, camera right. So I'm gonna get started with the selection. I'm gonna click here on the nose. Sorry to disregard that. I'm gonna hit manually locate face. It's female. I'm gonna start right here. And click on this corner over here, the tip of the nose and the corners of the mouth, and I'm going to speed up this process. So now that we've made um, our outline of the face and we selected all the details like the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and it's a shape of the face. Um, the first thing we're going to play around with is uh, lighting. All right, we're going to position this slightly left and let's boost the contrast. All right, so now we're done with that. I'm going to head over to skin smoothing. I'm going to make sure remove pause set at zero to preserve at least some of that skin detail. Uh, what else we got going on here? So for the shadows, where is my fine shadows? Where is it? There you go. So I'm gonna increase this. All right, 60 looks good.
Alright, so we're gonna do something with the eyes. So we're gonna smooth the eye bags, gonna set this at 100. And what this does is it removes uh, some of the darkening you see right here. I'm gonna add some smoothing to that also. All right, that is good. So we're going to head down to the eye section. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to brighten the iris just a bit. Uh, not too much. We're also going to add a catch light. We're going to add a big octa box. Uh, let's quickly reposition by nudging these reflections. In the back and up slightly that looks good let's do the same for the other All right so I'm cool with that so let's do something to her lips Just gonna moisten the lips just a bit. It's kind of subtle. Alright, that's fine. So we are done inside of Portrait Pro. We're gonna jump back on over to Photoshop. We are back inside of Photoshop and I'm gonna run one of my custom actions. Yes, baby. Okay, baby. And she's washing her baby's hair. Okay, so I'm gonna apply my skin softening action. I'm gonna hit play to apply. So I'm gonna grab my brush tool, select it already. I'm gonna increase the size, I'm gonna make sure the foreground color is set to white and the flow, make sure that it's set around 50 already. All right, so let's soften out um, some of the skin. Make it a bit smoother, remove all those hairs. All right, that is fine. All right. Not bad. I'm gonna merge these two layers. And then I'm gonna lower the beautify panel. I'm gonna give that a second. And with the beautify panel loaded, I'm going to apply um, some frequency separation. Set radius to about 75%. Hit OK to apply, and let's go through the process. So now that we're on the frequency separation layer, I'm going to grab my brush. It's selected already. I'm going to make sure my flow is still set at 50%, and I'm going to slowly paint over the image. Change is going to be a bit subtle. I'm slowly painting over the image just to even out the skin. All right, not bad. So I'm going to merge these layers. Hit Control E on the keyboard. So now I'm going to add the skin texture. This skin texture is kind of hard to replicate using Portrait Pro. So let's see how this combination of Portrait Pro on the Beautify panel works. So let's zoom in just a bit and I'm going to hit skin texture. Now I run this before. Um, the process is going to be a bit slow, but the results are worth it.
Okay, so now that adding skin texture, that process is done, we're actually gonna add some texture. So let's zoom in, decrease the size of my brush, make sure my flow is still set at 50%. And I'm gonna slowly paint in some texture. I'm gonna zoom in some more. Changes are really, really subtle. Slowly painting the texture. Okay, now that we have applied some texture using the Beautify panel, let's head on back to our layers panel and let's just merge all of these layers. I'm gonna hit Shift, click. Let's merge these. Okay, so not bad so far, so good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make this image more dramatic. I'm gonna apply um, a lot using an action I created. Let's go over to where is it? The teal and orange moody look. I'm gonna hit play to apply that, but I'm gonna make sure that okay, I'm on that layer. Yes, hit play. And that was pretty fast, but the lot has been applied. Looks good, but I think it's a bit strong, so turn it down to like about. Fifteen percent is fine. Okay, so let's have a quick look at our starting point. I'm gonna hit Alt, click on the bottom layer. This is our starting image, and this is the end result. So just to enhance this image just a bit more before I finish it off. Um, let's apply some dodging and burning. So, I'm gonna make sure we are on skin texture strong layer, and let's go to actions. Uh, let's run a dodge and burn action I created. The dodge is gonna be selected automatically. This layer here. I'm gonna delete. I'm gonna make sure I'm dodge and burn layer. Uh, let me just grab my pen and reduce the size of my brush and zoom in just a bit. Uh, let's start with the eyes. Let's lighten the eyes just a bit more. All right, that is fine. All right, let's add a bit of contour to the nose. Uh, let's enhance the lips a bit more. All right, so now let's apply some burning. I'm gonna grab my burn tool. Zoom in. Exposure is set at 10%. I think I'm gonna set it at five to make it a bit more subtle. Let's zoom in, particularly eyebrows. 
Alrighty, let's talk in just a bit. Alright, looking good. And this is where I am going to call it quits. Let's have a quick look with the dodge and burn effect applied. All right, so it popped just a bit more. Let's turn on a global adjustment. So this is the before. And this is the end result. So here ends my experiment with Portrait Pro and the BD5 panel. I think I'm going to be using these two in combination um, a bit more. Uh, don't forget that if you want to follow along, I'm going to leave you the link in the description where you can actually download the image as well as where you can download Portrait Pro and the BD5 panel. You can download a trial version of both software. So thanks for following along. Thanks again for watching my video. If you want to follow along, you can download the project files and my actions using the link in the description below. If you're a photographer in Nassau and you want to collab, or even if you're a model looking to build your portfolio, type me in the comment section after you like my page on Facebook or subscribe on YouTube. If you want to see more of my work, follow me on Instagram or visit my website.